Deputy Minister of Education, Shri Dharmini Pradhanji, Publisher and Editor of the Samaj, Shri Niranjan Dasji, Former Judge and Civil Servant, Shri Harpa Pradhanji, Honorable Director of IIT Bhubaneswar, Professor Shri Pirkal Makarji, and one and all present here. A very warm evening to one and all. I'm Soumya Patnayak, a youth delegate from Odisha to Rajasthan. I'm currently pursuing Bachelor's of uh, Economics, Science, Bachelor's of Science in Economics from Revenshire University, Qatar. It is very rightly said that if you want to build a ship, do not drum up the men and call them to gather the woods. Instead, teach them to yearn for the vast and endless sea. In our schools, we were always taught about unity and diversity. This time, we lived it. <laughs> Yesterday, when I looked at myself in the mirror, I saw a different person and I was not surprised. Not just physical appearance, I am tanned and tired, but also intellectually and emotionally. We are a different person. The Yuva Sangam tour to Rajasthan immensely broadened our perspective about our people, our culture and our country. And the first thing that we learned was that whether it is Odisha or Rajasthan, we are all soon in the same fabric of Indianness. Our common identity is that we are all Indians, sharing the same values of empathy, affection, compassion and generosity. And that is why we never felt that we were in a different place. We always felt that Rajasthan was like a second home. While the marvelous monuments taught us the rich heritage we hold, the booming spirit of entrepreneurship invigorated in us the importance of innovation. The valor of the Rajputs and Maharana Pratap told us the tale of principles, strength and love and respect for motherland. The Constitution Park at the Honorable Governor's residence filled us with pride about the great democratic tradition that we inherit. But the part which was the closest to my heart was the travel to the Basi Tehsil uh, of Jaipur, which is a Buddha village. I saw a young girl there around six or seven years and I asked her, what do you want to be when you grow up? Very young for her age, but she confidently said, Didi Afsar Banungi. <laughs> and that moment, that moment was worth the entire trip. And I understood that even the small village, the lack of opportunities are no impediments to the dreams of the new India we are building. And that moment I realized that how privileged we are to get such good education, such good exposure. And it is our responsibility as the youth of the nation to use this exposure so that every kid, every girl like that, every child gets the opportunity to fulfill their potential and move forward in their lives and contribute towards making the India of our dreams. This initiative has lent me new eyes and a clearer window to view the world. Each moment was a moment of pride in the unique diversity that a great nation holds. My heartfelt gratitude to the honor Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi Ji, our Honorable Minister of Education, Sri Dharmendra Pradhan Ji, for giving us this once in a lifetime exposure for which we should always remain indebted to you. We also thank, we also thank uh, Professor Shripad Kalmakar, Director of IIT Bhubaneswar, and everyone else associated with this for such warm hospitality without which this trip wouldn't have been such a great success. And once again, thank you to one and all for giving us some of the best moments of our life. A part of Rajasthan will always stay with us and we hope that all the Odisha de delegates, whoever we meet, how many lives we have touched, we hope that we have left an indelible imprint of what Odisha stands for. And just like Sir said, learning the language builds the intimacy. Mari Kothara Rajasthan Ghani Chokhi Lagyo.